Bye, guys. It is almost Halloween and I'm completely in the spirit, so I made these two little jack-o'-lanterns and instead of using polymer clay, I actually made them with salt dough. Salt dough is pretty much just like polymer clay except the texture is a little bit different and the recipe is really easy. You just need two parts flour to one part salt. Salt dough bakes in the oven just like polymer clay and it's really hard and durable once it's been baked. So just mix the flour and the salt together just like this. Now that the flour and the salt are mixed, I'm going to add some water. Just keep mixing and mixing until eventually you get a dough. Okay, so the dough is finished. Now I'm just going to add the dough to the bottom and the sides of this little glass bowl. You can find these at the dollar store, craft stores. I didn't apply the dough perfectly to the outside of the bowl and that's okay because it made the pumpkins look really real because if you notice real pumpkins are bumpy they're not perfectly smooth so don't worry about that just add it and if you notice too many ridges you can just use your fingers to smooth them out and now I'm gonna create a bunch of indents all around the pumpkin with a ruler and after you've created all those indents, you can pop the little pumpkins right into the oven for about 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. After the pumpkins cooled, they were really, really hard, like a rock almost. I used two colors of acrylic paint, a lighter orange all over and then a darker orange in the creases to give some dimension. And then I just blended those two colors together. I drew a face with a pencil and I'm just taking an X-Acto knife and I'm cutting out the little eyes, the nose, and the mouth so you can see the light through it. And once their cute little faces are cut out, I just threw in some flameless candles that I found at the dollar store as well. And they were two for a dollar, which is really awesome. And I actually ended up taking out the flameless candles and putting in um, pens and like pencils in them because they're the perfect shape for that actually. So that's another idea. And thanks to everybody from Facebook for sending me your pictures. They're so adorable. Bye bye.